Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So the purpose of this video as well as my previous bot related videos is to mainly bring awareness to the current bot problem that we all face in Old School RuneScape. I say current problem because botting has always existed in RuneScape, but currently, in my opinion, the bot's ability to stay undetected is what prevents them from being banned, as well as other things. So here in this video today I'm going to be visiting some profitable money making areas around RuneScape and we are going to be seeing how many of these areas have been infiltrated by bots and if so how far have these bots lasted in terms of longevity now it is just a normal Wednesday morning at 9 40 a.m EST so with that being said let's begin all right so I see these bots bank at Edgeville every single day wearing the same exact gear and this has been going on for a few months now based on the 72 Slayer. I initially thought that this guy was a skeletal wyvern bot, but I ended up finding him later on at none other than spitting wyverns. And it turns out that this guy is just one of many in this specific bot farm. Now they use about a 7 mil gear setup, and I imagine they probably bring in 500 to 750k GP an hour, depending on if the bot is base 90s or if the bot is all 99 combat stats. And you can't forget about the 1 in 12k drop which is the ancient wyvern visage currently at a price of 20 mil now although there are dozens of bots across many different combat levels here are those that seem to have lasted the longest so far this level 119 here has managed to obtain 40 mil xp in strength attack and defense and we can assume that he probably started here at 85 base combats so just flying through each world and quickly looking up each bot that i find it's clear that you know some of these bots have been here for months, which leaves me wondering how none of them have been banned yet, and I'm genuinely curious how much these bots have affected the price of every item on this monster's drop table. Now, some of these bots have a basic 2 mil Torag setup, and others have that Obsidian 7 mil setup. I highly doubt uh, that these are gold farmers, and hopefully this cave gets looked at soon. Would really be unfortunate to be assigned a Spitting Wyvern Slayer task and show up to the first 30 worlds worlds on old school runescape and this is what you see you know what i mean well let's go check out the skeletal wyvern cave in the first world it looks like we have a bot here uh looking him up 72 slayers the requirement for these wyverns 66 was the requirement for the spitting ones gonna go ahead and report this guy i, I usually just saw bots just like this guy at uh usually the start of the cave with that nice shortcut and i would just stand in the safe spot to continue to look them up always good to see a normal player here it looks like these bots have their own world. I mean, most of the time there was only one bot per every single world and not that many normal players at all for competition. So some of these guys have gone far past 99 base, which essentially means that they've killed tens of thousands of wyverns. And for the most part, they all had the same setup. Although I did encounter this strange guy with a very expensive setup compared to most other bots and he didn't respond, but who knows, could, could have been a real player. But either way, this is a pretty big bot farm. The only difference is there's only one account per world compared to the three or four at uh, Spitting Wyverns. Saw this guy banking at Edgeville, and once I looked him up, I knew right away that 117 range, 80 million XP from it all came from Leviathan. Over 10,000 kill count. Looks like his gear setup is worth 80 mil GP. Oh, actually, almost 90 mil. My mistake. So yeah, they're still going strong, but either way, let's go check out another bot farm that's been around for years now, the Air Orb Charging Bot Farm. Very first bot I look up has 110 match Magic 41 mil XP and 100 fletching. Wow, guess this guy's not getting PK'd that often, huh? 109 magic with the next one and 110 following that. A lot of these guys are above 99 magic and uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty strange builds. I mean, I looked one up and it was 121 cooking, so I guess these bots kind of fluctuate depending on what they feel like doing. But this farm is unfortunately just thriving right now, so hopefully we get some people out here to, you know, PK these bots, but unfortunately the money is just not there when you kill them, so that's probably why there's so many of them. I wanted to try 
try out killing a few of these bots just to help out a little bit. And while I was doing so, I ran into another low level. Uh, I do have Junior here. This is my uh, former 10 HP account. And it's just been rising the ranks ever since in magic and range. So with a low combat level, I was able to kill this uh, fellow level 50. And I got 2.2 mil. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and kill a few of these bots. Luckily, being such a low combat and having 94 magic, I can teleblock and fire surge on all these bots. So it's very easy to kill them sometimes you can even just one hit them but on average the key is just not that expensive you know i think the most that you can make from a key here would probably be no more than 35 to 40k on average i was getting uh 10k or less than that so it just depends sometimes uh, if you get them at the right time they'll have an inventory full of charged orbs and that'll make it a much more beneficial key but the run here as well as the risk uh, that you're putting yourself in you do have to ask yourself if that's going to be worth it but it's always fun to kill bots either way so there is that so i took a little bit of a break and went to revenant caves this is no doubt the most botted area the southern orc and in most worlds it's just two bots uh similar to what you're seeing on screen there they either use a magic short bow or a crossbow and yeah there's just so many of them Gold Farmers too. I looked this guy up at Furox, and he was 101 strength, attack, and defense, and I figured he was killing green dragons because of the gear. Luckily, though, I checked so many worlds, and he was like the only one here, so that's not too bad. This guy kind of threw me off. He was a much lower level bot. But nevertheless, uh, I was trying to drop some items to see if he would try to pick them up. And he was. So maybe you have the potential to lure these types of bots. But it just looks like the risk is so minimal. And I found this one interesting because he was prey flicking the dragons. So yeah, very strange one. Well, speaking of dragons, let's check out Vorkath. I've actually never been here before. We got 20k KC from this one. Now, this is actually kind of hard to tell uh, if all of these people are bots. But I mean, we can just kind of go from assuming based on the total level and the similarity with all these account builds that yeah some of them definitely bought some of them eh, might be hacked accounts might just be a gold farmer but either way um just tons of kill counts here in the tens of thousands uh i mean i could definitely do some more in-depth research uh, and see just how uh interactive these bots are maybe they respond maybe uh half of them aren't bots but i don't know just looking at uh, so many different worlds and uh, so many different builds and also the fact that you know virtually no one responded except for the people who had normal looking accounts uh, I would say a lot of Vorkath bots are still in the game. Definitely uh, not good to see. And yeah, I mean, it makes you think, how are these people not getting banned? Such high KCs, such long stretches of time to camp this boss. So hopefully this gets looked at, um, or maybe just a magnifying glass can be put over the Vorkath, see who's real, who's not. 50k KC and 31k, that is just, ooh, that's insane. And if you enjoy videos like this, I do tend to make one bot-related video a month, so please let me know in the comment section below if you enjoy it. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, Priftinus does have a lot of pickpocketing bots, just mainly because the price of the crystal is so expensive, and this is a really good uh, money-making method per hour, so a lot of these bots have been here for far too long, though, all of them flexing their thieving capes and far past 99 thieving. A lot of them actually far past 110 thieving, so yeah, I hope this area gets looked at soon. Well, you guys did warn me that if I made a video about raw sharks being 1.2k, they would inevitably crash because of bots, and here is the minnows currently being botted in most worlds a lot of these accounts are startup though so they do have the chance to get ahead on this bot farm i only ran into a minimal amount that were above 100 uh, fishing you know 110 fishing crazy numbers like that most of them were level 80 so it looks like this bot farm is starting up again unfortunately the price of raw shark has gone from 1.2k down to 700 gp again guys i'm sorry man you know what can i do but uh, i mean at least i got to enjoy it uh while it lasted but to be fair, I did fish all those sharks on an Iron Man account, so... But to conclude this video, I wanted to end on a brighter note. Rather than showing so many places in RuneScape that are heavily botted, check out the newest level 42 Slayer monster that has been added into the game weeks ago now. And these fever spiders are incredible. And I looked through most worlds, guys, and no bots were there at all. There were so many Iron Men, so many normal players just building their bank, earning their GP, which is what everyone loves to see. 
So there is hope, guys. Not everything is botted out there. So much of it is. But the more attention we bring to it, hopefully we'll get Jagex to pay a little bit more attention as well and take down these bots to help out the economy. And listen, I know so many people have different opinions and views on botting and bots in general. Leave your opinion down in the comment section below. That is exactly what it's there for. I personally feel like it's one thing to have bots in the game, but it's another thing entirely to have bots dominate the high scores where real players like me spend all day and all night grinding on this game only to be replaced by a bot on the high scores. And the same goes for bossing. The same goes for so many different money-making methods. I can really understand and sympathize with how the average player can feel a little demotivated seeing the bots just have such high kill count and such challenging bosses, especially Leviathan. So yeah, hopefully this video helps in some way, shape, or form. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I'll see you soon with a new loot video. And until then, thank you to all the channel members with a special shout out to Let Us Attack, Deception Z, X Exotic X. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.